So Freddy Krueger aiming to become only the second defending, successfully defending London Night Jump champion from last year. How do you feel about that prospect? Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Um, you know, the the win last year gave me some confidence and uh, I've been jumping well. I just got to get out here and do it in the dark. And, uh, you know, all these guys are hungry, so we'll see how it shakes out. Okay, what did you find out about the site from last year that you could potentially use to your advantage this year? Well, I just think that uh, this place offers such a unique experience from the fact that the, the water is dark and the trees along the side, it, it's, it's a much darker atmosphere than uh, some of the other night jump events we have. So, you know, you really got to uh, relax on your turn and uh, let yourself get in the course. And that's always been my Achilles heel here is, uh, you know, having that patience at my turn to make sure I'm in the course far enough. And uh, last year I kind of got the job done. Still uh, wasn't wasn't even as good as I wanted it to be last year, but it was good enough and, you know, hopefully I can do the same thing this year. So what do you think it's going to take distance-wise? I got no idea, man. Honestly, uh, if, it, if the wind swings around and it's in our face, you know, it could easily take up in the, in the high 20s into the 230 range. Um, you know, we've, we've been here where you get that tailwind and it, it drops the distances. You know, it could be 10, 15 feet less. Uh, I think last year, like 217 took it. So, uh, you know, night jump is such a different beast. The guys early off the dock kind of set the, the tone. If they go far, the guys at the end go far. If they if they don't, you know, it, it kind of, like I say, it sets a tone. Freddy the Nightmare Kruger, the defending London Night Jump Champion.